Hi, this is Adele and Jeff from Quadricopter, and we are looking at the DJI uh, DRTK2, and we are trying to get it to work with the new Matrice 4 Enterprise. Had some troubles getting it to work, but it does work, so I thought it'd be cool to do a little video and show you how, how we made it work. This is the old base station. Um, you can get the new base station, the DRTK3, which is made to work with the uh, Matrice 4 Enterprise and the Matrice 4 Enterprise Thermal. I'm going to show you how the DRTK2 works with the new Matrice 4 Enterprise and 4 Enterprise Thermal. I had some questions whether it would work and uh, after a few tries I got it to work here. So the first thing we did, you saw us set up the old uh, DRTK2 base station. You want to power it up, make sure it has all green lights on it and it's connected. The longer you put it outside, the better. Okay, so now we're going to come into uh, the Pilot2 app. This is our pre-flight checklist. Yes, we agreed to all that. And we're going to go into our RTK menu settings. So we're in the menu now. We click on the precise precision settings. And we'll turn it all off. Let's show you how to walk through it here. Um, when you get the Matrice 4, this is all going to be turned off. You enable it. And then down here, you go into the DRTK. Now, yesterday, um, I had it showing up down here with the coordinates, but it would not connect. So you do have to check this. You can see that it's connected here, but there was a, another step that I didn't do to get it connected. And you have to click on the RTK up here and enable the RTK positioning here. And once you do that, then it should connect. This is the Matrice 4 Enterprise with the uh, DRTK2 base station set up and working together here. I, looks like I have 31 satellites. Okay, motor. So we're starting motors. 